Hi everyone, my name is NG and this is me, my Nudge Habitat. I am back with another uh, MacBook project. This is the same laptop as the one that I fixed back in 2019. Uh, so the covers changed because we got another uh, MacBook of the same model. And this was actually an older cover. This was actually the cover that was on the computer before I took over that laptop. So to make it easier for us to recognize which is the older one, like just take one look at it and know which is the older computer, we change it back to the old case. The new case is currently on the new one. So um, back then I fixed the speaker, this time we are fixing the trackpad. So I actually opened up the computer before I recorded this video, but it was like many months ago. It was a few months ago uh, when the trackpad first started having issues, we bought the spare trackpad. While opening it up, uh, it occurred to us that okay, it might be that the battery is bloated and hence restricting the use of the trackpad. So that's why we are getting like uh, wrong inputs or like the inputs stop halfway or part of the trackpad is just not functioning at all. So I opened it up, the battery was bloated. Uh, so we thought that okay, if we have fixed the bloated battery, then we should have no problem with the trackpad anymore. So we sent the laptop for fix for the battery. It came back, trackpad still wasn't working, so here I am trying to fix the trackpad. <laughs> the last time that I fixed the battery, we used the spare parts that we got from iFixit. It's the same thing this time, so I have the spare trackpad here. This is the trackpad uh, for the MacBook Pro 15 inch, the Retina one. This is the A1398 model, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so I have got the trackpad here, so let's get started. Um, as per the previous video, I will have, I rather I have the iFixit guide on screen in front of me. Uh, it's too important, or rather too expensive, a piece of equipment for me to break. And it's company property, so <laughs> not gonna risk anything. Uh, so I'm I will be using that as reference, as a guide. Um, I'm also using the iFixit toolkit that we have. So first, let me get started by removing the covers.
This was a really easy one to do. Uh, this is the old trackpad. This is how it looks like. Um, because there's so little steps, right? I think I think I will walk through the assembly instead of walking through the disassembly because it's just in reverse. So let me just take out the new one first. Okay, this is the new trackpad from iFixit. Um, I still got some tapes here to stick it back onto the onto the board. Uh, so the part that I did not anticipate was that this trackpad comes off from the front. Uh, I had tried to remove it, but I couldn't, and I couldn't figure out why. So apparently, you're supposed to open up the front, or uh, rather, open up from the top, and this is what you are seeing without the trackpad. <laughs> so the trackpad is supposed to sit on here. And there's this thing over here, which is supposed to control uh, the trackpad touching level, which I'm not sure what that means. I'm guessing sensitivity. So this one comes in like this and the whole thing just sits inside like this. So you got to put the ribbon cable in first um, and then slot the bottom in because there's like these two ears here. So slot the bottom in and close it over the top like that. That's all. Um, and then I'm supposed to fasten everything again. So we just close this. Okay, so if done in reverse, um, we have these six uh, Phillips head screws, these really small Phillips head screws that is holding the trackpad in place. Uh, you just gotta put those back. Um, there's six that's holding these brackets to the board itself, the main frame of the laptop, and then six uh, Phillips head that is holding just the trackpad. So. You only need to take out the ones that's holding the trackpad, which is actually marked out in a lighter color compared to the one that's holding it to the main frame. So it, it's actually really helpful to... Oops. So that's actually really helpful to uh, identify them. And I mean, you just taking a look, uh, it's quite obvious lah, that these two are holding different things. Uh, so there's six of them. Let me just put them back first. Uh, one thing that has always been like a guilty pleasure whenever I work on like an Apple product it's uh, how small everything is and how intricate everything is like things just fit uh, very nicely with each other like they, they really thought through their design processes to make it work so this is the main this is the six screws that is holding on to the trackpad let me just tighten all of them again. Um, I'm not sure how many people actually practice this, but I've gotten this habit from my dad. Uh, whenever you are tightening things together using screws, don't tighten one all the way. Tighten all of them uh, to a certain level first before you really tighten it up. So just like kind of get a screw in first, uh, get all the screws in that is connected to that piece. And then once everything is locked in, and then tighten everything to to the to the tightest that you want it to be. Uh, so let me just take out the double-sided tape and close it. They even mark out. They even have like a small dent that they mark out for you on the ribbon cable itself. It's quite this quite well thought out. I always like getting stuff from iFixit. They have really good like replacement parts and it's just really easy to to fix everything together also. So let me just close this. Okay, and this is the part that caught me off guard. I did not expect to have this metal plate here that is covering the back of the trackpad. Um, it's dented. I am not sure if I should place it back, although I think I could. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I want to put it back, I can, although I'm not sure how much help this is, so I might I might just leave it out. It could be because like this is the first time that I'm opening this laptop on this side. Like, I've the last time I fixed it, it was the speakers, which was these two. These two things here, which did not require me to take out the batteries. 
so I think I never saw this part of the computer last time. Like I think I removed like every single thing except for the battery and the trackpad when I change out the speakers. So <laughs> compared to the speaker one, this is really really simple. So after which, once you got the new trackpad in, all you need to do is this lump of battery, <laughs> just wholesale, flip it and slot it in. Uh, so you will see these stickers that's on our battery. These are the people who got ours replaced the previous time when we realized that something uh, our batteries are bloated. Uh, so they got they fixed the batteries and it's been working well. Um, the only thing that's not really working is the trackpad. So before that, actually, I should do a test. Ah, okay, I got it. So this screw over here, I don't actually need this plate. This screw over here is the one that adjusts how clicky your trackpad will be. So I tightened it too much, which was why like it, it feels like nothing is clicking. But now it seems like it's okay. Like even with no backing of any sorts behind the trackpad, you can hear the click. So this is the thing that adjusts the sensitivity of that clickiness. Uh, let me just fix back the battery first so I can turn it on and give it a try. So in the past what has been happening is the left side of the trackpad, um, you can use it to shift the mouse around but you can't really click on it. So now I don't feel that's any problem. Uh, it sounds like a new it sounds like a new trackpad. Um, yeah, I don't feel anything wrong with it. It stays, uh, if I were to highlight something, it stays highlighted. Uh, don't have an issue moving the mouse around as well. So before this, um, after we changed the battery, we realized the trackpad was still broken because when we were when we were trying to drag and drop like documents from like one finder window to the next, um, we would notice that either the, the, the drag got uh, stopped halfway or like so I'm holding a folder now, but occasionally it will just let go by itself. So that was the issue that we had which, which made us realize that oh, the trackpad was still broken. But looking at it now, everything is fine. So let me just shut down everything and put back the battery proper. So the thing that is holding the MacBook, uh, the batteries in place is this two torx screw that is at the end of this plate. Um, it's very easy to find. Uh, a bit hard to align it though. And when you're working with anything power related, you have to be careful of uh, not shorting anything <laughs> uh, which I'm always very afraid of like accidentally shorting the entire circuit and afterwards all that's left is the back plate which is this so all in all fixing the trackpad is really really simple uh, as compared to the speaker one that I did the, the last time around this is so much easier to do So the thing that's slightly different here is there are two slightly smaller screws that's on top over here right next to the MacBook Pro words, uh, the engraving. 
So that's the only thing that you might need to look out for. So when you uh, when you remove the screws when you're trying to open up the, the back cover, just take note, set those two aside. Uh, if you did not, I think it's visibly notice, like you can tell the difference visibly. Uh, if you place close enough attention, I think, uh, you should be able to tell the difference. Now, this is done. Um, as usual, I will have the iFixit guide in the description. Uh, this is a very simple fix, a lot more simple than I expected it to be. <laughs> Based on the, the last time I fixed the uh, speaker where I had to remove every single thing, I thought this would be the case as well, but apparently not. Um, and the one thing that really surprised me was how the trackpad actually came up on the front. I still find that quite amazing. But in any case, uh, this is all. Um, I've also realized why I should never speak and do something again because I cannot multitask. <laughs> so I shall stick to the normal timelines where I talk after I'm done with everything. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy this kind of content that I put onto this channel. Uh, it, it's quite relaxing for me to sit down and open up something, clean it up and fix it. Uh, which is why I document all these videos. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.